There are actually three different kinds of panel data sets or longitudinal data sets that you'll see in practice. The best case scenario is where you have a bunch of units from your population, and for each unit, you observe their outcome, their treatment variable or their policy variable, and their covariates at a bunch of different points in time for the same unit. So you can actually track how one person's wage is changing over time, for example. That might be called a true panel data set. The second case is called a repeated cross-section, where for one year, a single point in time, you draw a random sample and you observe for each unit in the population that you drew uh, their outcome, their treatment or policy variable, and their covariates. And then you get rid of them. And the next year, you draw a new random sample and observe their outcome, their treatment, their policy variable, their covariates. So here again, with a repeated cross-section, you have data over time, but you don't have any way of linking the units across the time periods. That's why it's called a repeated cross-section, because for each time period, you, draw, you get a cross-section of your population, but there's no way of linking it. So you just repeat the cross-sections over and over and over again as time goes on. So even though one unit might actually appear in the data set for both years or multiple years, you have no way of knowing that it's the same unit. So you can't track an individual's wage changing over time for the same person, for example. The third and final example is where you observe group level data, like we saw in the death penalty example. There, I didn't tell you what the homicide rate for each state was at each time period. That would have been a true panel data set. Instead, all I told you was that was what the average homicide rate was in a group of states at different points in time. But there we saw we could still do causal inference by using the difference in differences idea and making the common trends assumption. So the overall theme of how we use panel data to get at causality is the same regardless of which of these three kinds of data sets you're in. Now the technical details and implementations are going to differ a little bit, so you'll see that, but the main idea is the same.